In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect and program the wireless transmitter and receiver for an LCN automatic operator. The battery-operated transmitter sends a wireless signal to the receiver connected to the operator to allow actuation of the door. The receiver can be programmed to open and close the door with a single press of a transmitter, or to open the door on one press and close it on a second press. The transmitter is available as a handheld unit, or with wire leads for connection to an actuator. The receiver can be used on all four LCN automatic operator models. The pneumatic auto equalizer, the electric auto equalizer, the benchmark, or the senior swing. In this video, we will connect a transmitter to a wall-mounted actuator and the receiver to the LCN 4600 electric auto equalizer. You will need a 5 32nds inch hex wrench and a 3 32nds inch flat blade screwdriver. Prior to performing any wiring, shut off power to the operator. Be aware of pedestrian traffic around the area and stop pedestrian traffic through the doorway when performing tests that might result in unexpected reactions by the door. Start by wiring the receiver to the operator. First, remove the cover of the operator by removing the two screws with the 5 32nd inch hex wrench and gently sliding off the cover. Route the wires from the receiver through the appropriate hole in the operator housing. For power, connect the black wire to terminal 2 and the red wire to terminal 1, as shown. Then, connect the white wire, for COM or COMMON, to terminal 17, and the green wire, for NO or normally open, to terminal 16. For the other LCN automatic operators, please use the instruction sheet to determine connection locations. Slide the cover back into place and secure with the two screws. Be careful not to pinch any wires. Use the included Velcro tape to secure the receiver where it will not be damaged when the operator is in use. Next, program the transmitter. When the transmitter will be connected to a wall-mounted actuator or bollard post, program the transmitter first to ensure wireless operation is functioning, and then connect it to your actuator. In most cases, you will want the door to open immediately upon activating the transmitter. Therefore, press the No Delay button on the receiver until the red light appears then release. Then press the button on the transmitter twice, slowly. A blue light will flash on the receiver to indicate the signal from the transmitter has been received, and the operator will open the door. The dip switches can be used to set pulse or toggle action, also known as alternate action, and hold open time. For the LCN electric auto equalizer and the senior swing, we recommend setting both dip switches to off and using the control box to set up your operator. For the pneumatic auto equalizer and the benchmark, please see the instruction sheet to learn how to set the dip switches for your application. Once you have confirmed the transmitter is functioning, you are ready to connect it inside of the actuator. When mounting a transmitter inside of a wall actuator or bollard post, keep in mind that wireless signals cannot pass through metal. Be sure to use an enclosure that will allow for the wireless signal to transmit, such as those with plastic sides or plastic caps. Use the included Velcro tape to secure the transmitter inside the enclosure where it will not be damaged when the actuator is pressed.
If you are using the LCN bollard post, there is a shelf inside of the plastic cap upon which to secure the transmitter. To connect the 3 volt transmitter to the actuator, slip the wire leads over the NO, or normally open, and COM, or common, points on the actuator. Do not connect to NC or normally closed. Connecting the transmitter to normally closed will result in reduced battery life. Secure the receiver and reassemble the actuator. Sequential operation is typical in a vestibule, where you want to sequence the opening of interior and exterior doors based upon which actuator has been pressed. For sequential operation with the wireless receiver, program the exterior transmitter to the no delay function on the outside operator and the delay function on the inside operator. Program the interior transmitter to the no delay function on the inside operator and the delay function on the outside operator. Program the vestibule transmitter to the no delay function on both operators. For assistance, contact customer care at 877-671-7011.